Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be testing the Huawei Mate D14. By the way, this laptop belongs to my good friend Gerard. And the spec of these laptops are Ryzen 5 3500U. Onboard the graphics is Vega 8. At, at meron siyang dalawang 4GB na DDR4 RAM soldered onto the motherboard. So, may plan ka mag-upgrade, wala na talaga. So, which makes it a total of 8GB na RAM. Storage ng laptop is 120GB SSD and a 320GB na hard drive. This laptop has one USB Type-C na port and two standard USB na port. It also supports Huawei Share if you have Huawei na phone. So, it's easy to transfer files from PC to phone or vice versa. So, enough about that. Let's get into the game benchmark. And by the way, the res resolution of the screen is set to 1920 by 1080. The first game I tested is League of Legends. The graphics are set to high and on 1080p resolution. League of Legends is a very light game and easy to run, so you will see no problem running this on any computer. Moving on to the second game, I tested PUBG Lite, the uh, light version of PUBG, free lang sa garina. Uh, I set all the graphics settings to high on 1080p. For the third game, we have Grand Theft Auto 5. By the way, na set ko to lahat sa pinaka lowest na graphics settings, ng para maka achieve ko ng average na 60 FPS. And by the way, if you look to your upper left, sa, and, uh, sa Vega 8, nang just ignore the 655, 36%. I don't know what's wrong with the F MSI Afterburner na ginagamit ko, pero nang sa next na mga games, I, I got it to work naman na. In the fourth game, we have Dota 2, na kaset, na set ko to sa fastest graphic setting, which is uh, lowest na graphic settings dito sa laro na to. We have an average of 96 and minimum 81, so very good, uh, very good result to siya, and then okay siya mag clash. I tested it, so so far wala na problema sa Dota 2. Now, if you want to set it sa uh, ano best quality na best looking na settings pwede man you will get around ano mga 60 fps so moving on sa next game natin which is counter strike global offensive by the way guys na set ko to lahat sa low graphic settings trying to achieve ng 60 fps nang hindi i can't get my fraps and msi afterburner na to work sa csgo ko nang hindi ko alam baka may i did something wrong so, ang ginawa ko, I just, ano na lang, nang gumamit ako ng onboard na built-in na uh, FPS counter ng CSGO. So, makita nyo sa taas ng screen, ang FPS counter, somewhere around 28, 30, 39, 29. So, yan. That is the FPS counter. So, we're getting around 20 to 40 frames per second sa game na to. So, pasensya ka na ako medyo, ano, very bright at very reflective kasi nasa labas ko when I recorded this video. So guys, parang okay naman ang, ano, ang CSGO. By the way, this is deathmatch sa Didas 2. So let's move naman guys sa next game natin. Okay guys, here's another popular game, NBA 2K20. Nakalagay dyan, auto-detect ang graphic settings kasi hindi ko mahanap ang display settings sa settings niya kasi hindi, ko pa, hindi ako familiar sa ano ng set sa controls ng game kasi ng ang ano ang okay is pressing the number 2 at ang back is somewhere I think enter or backspace or space bar so as you can see no notice ko it's running on 60 fps which is very okay if you kung ano na yan kung monitor mo hindi naman high end so na I did a benchmark ng 60 fps siya and then fraps is not working dito so, wala akong, hindi ako makatali ng 60 as ang average niya na FPS. But, ang game is trying to, ano, lock it around 60 FPS para smooth lang ang gameplay. So, as you can see, guys, ng Toronto versus Golden State, na okay naman siya ang performance niya. Okay naman ang, ang quality ng images. Wala naman ng blurred or mga lag or frame dips. Steady lang siya talaga, 60 FPS. At ang, ang ano ko, and also, pasensya ka na, sa ano sa upper left kung ang Vega 8 graphics ko is around 65536 pa rin i can't seem to fix it sometimes ano siya nang 
I can get it to work. Sometimes, hindi. Maybe sa driver na issue yan ng MSI Afterburner. So, as you can see, na ang CPU, u, CPU utilization niya ng Ryzen 5 is mababa lang. 40% lang ginagamit niya. And ang RAM na kinakain niya sa system is around 2.6 gig lang. So, at ang temperature ng CPU ta is 87 degrees. So, medyo mainit talaga. So, make sure na if you're using this laptop to play NBA, ng ano gamit kayo ng ano well ng laptop cooler or ventil ng parang platform na mayroon fan so for this game naman guys Genshin Impact uh, sikat na anime na laro so I set all the graphic settings to low kasi I want to see it kung okay talaga ang performance niya ng ang average FPS natin is 57 and then max is 62 and then minimum is 2 FPS so in this game, nang you can't get above 60 FPS, nang parang nakalak siya. Uh, I think something ano sa game. Same din sa NBA 2K20 kanina. So we're getting around 60 FPS. So yun parang nakalak siya. Pero so far smooth naman ang gameplay at wala naman frame drops or ano jan. Nang ang 2 FPS kanina during ano yan loading. So I started daka the ano the FPS counter during that time. So guys, uh, Genshin Impact will run sa laptop na to, sa Huawei Mate D14. Yun, ng open country, na mga, uh, I'm, ano, nag, umatake na ako ng chili trolls. So, if you're planning to buy this laptop for Genshin Impact, pwede talaga. So, the last game, guys, is Rules of Survival. Nang, I set sa settings na low graphics lang lahat. Kaya gusto ko sana makita kung ano talaga ang performance niya in a full ano talaga, kung low na talaga lahat. So, ang average natin is 79 and ang max natin is 96 and ang minimum is 23. So, kung meron kang laptop na ganito ng, for example, Ryzen 3 or Ryzen 5 or Ryzen 7, basta naka dual channel memory ka lang talaga, wala ka talagang problema in playing this game. So, Again, I apologize sa Vega 8. I can't seem to understand. Kanina, it was working. Pero while I was recording, so far, nagbumalik siya. So, Ryzen 5, na ang utilization niya is around 26% lang. So, hindi naman malaki. Ang clock speed ng CPU natin is ano, around 3 gigahertz. And also, ang kinakain niya sa, RAM na, sa, sa system RAM is around 1.6 gig. So, makita niyo sa screen, around 60 or 70 FPS. Uh, so, in conclusion guys, uh, this laptop costs around 39990 sa Silicon Valley. So, if interested kayo, punta lang kayo doon. Hindi, by the way, hindi ako sponsored ng Silicon Valley. Nang try niyo sa ibang store, Lazada, Shopee, ng Octagon. Nang try niyo, baka makahanap kayo na mas cheaper na price. And also... Nang, I think ang laptop na to is targeted for people who likes to do editing sa AutoCAD and also photo and video editing na hindi talaga mabigat so um, and also sa mga tao na who likes to do office works and then kung free time sila who wants to play popular esports games in 60 FPS like Dota 2, League of Legends, uh, Rules of Survival so, if you want to play with this laptop, make sure to use an external key keyboard and mouse. And if you have an extra monitor, make sure to connect it and use it as a primary screen. Uh, so, kung ano malang, kung if you're planning to buy this laptop for gaming, this is not for you. So, parang office work lang talaga siya. So, guys, um, this concludes my video and sa Huawei Mate D14. I hope you like it. So, if you like this kind of content where I test different laptops or PCs, uh, sa mga games. So, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace!